Alright, hello everyone and welcome as we start round two of the Historical Rivalry Cup. So, I'm very excited to get this off the ground. So a little bit of chatting guy at the start, the crew was just fixing some stuff, but we get to just skip on right ahead. So, we've seen them all on Ophelia before. They were, um, they were previously up against Joel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Jacqueline and Jules in round one and have now progressed to round two. They seen a chroma we have not seen before. They were given a buy for the first round simply because of. Uh, well, we had an uneven amount of signups. So, uh, one for each of round two, there's one team who was in round one and one team who for whom this is the first time they're playing in the tournament. But I will say, Daisy Sinochrome has been doing a lot of practicing, so I think they will at the very least be able to put up a very good fight against Ophelia Noel. Now, we actually saw Bulgarians and Magyars uh, actually in these positions too, the first time around, in the very first uh, game we casted here, with Noel and Ophelia playing as Malians and Berbers, but now they're taking out the Balkan hordes, Noel's stepping into Bulgarians, and Ophelia's playing Magyars. I think I actually would have expected it the other way around. I think, I think uh, Ophelia really likes infantry stuff, or at least she likes being weird, which I can appreciate. Whereas Noel, Noel, I think would maybe appreciate the like archer and the cavalry meta of Magyars more. Still, that they made their choice. So on the other hand, we have Akroma as the Tars here in the south, and Daisy as the Turks up in the north. So, obviously we have a typical um, big cavalry focus here, but the interesting thing is that both of these share a lot of the same power. Both of them have very strong cavalry archers, Tatars probably more so than Turks, and both of them have very strong light cavalry, Turks more so than Tatars. Both of them can definitely get into heavier cavalry, I mean Keshiks are just amazing, <laughs> in all honesty, like they're extremely cost effective. Uh, and of course, like, Turks get fully- they're one of eight civs, I think it is now, um, that have fully upgraded- that have all blacksmith upgrades, so they can- they can get a very workable, like, heavy camel and, uh, um, cavalier thing going. They also have- Turks also have very solid infantry. They- they- I mean, they like spike men, which is disastrous, of course, but their champions are just fine. I think they even get supplies, but otherwise they- I know- I know they have fully upgradable champions in at least every other regard, but I think they get supplies. Tatar infantry is genuinely the worst in the game. Like, I, I think there's an argument, like, technically a Tatar two-handed swordsman beats a Persian long swordsman, but that's basically the best thing you can say about them. They don't, they're the only save in the game to not get chainmail armor, they don't get champion, they don't get supplies, they do get blast furnace, they do get, like, squires and arson, and, like, the fact that I even have to mention that as highlights of the of Tatar infantry is probably tells you something about how bad it is. Still, cavalry archers can actually do really well against um, Magnus and Bulgarians. I mean, it, it's up to them to try to avoid the, the light cav spam to some extent, but actually, like, Bulgarian infantry, of course, won't do much. And once you get into, like, Sipahi or Silk Armor cav archers, they're actually very strong against other archers, too. Before that, archers tend to be better than cav archers, uh, like, when they're up head to head, I mean. But. After like you get Parfum Tactics and Ring Archer Armor, it kind of starts swinging the other way, and because you can get Sipahi or uh, Silk Armor so early, like you can get it in Castle rather than having to wait for an Imperial Age, there's a genuine point to saying that like there's there's potential for them to play like that. Um, but it's Ophelia, so I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be some stupid shit going on, and I'm very excited for it. Noelle's kind of scouting forward a bit here. She, I think she did this in game, in the earlier games too. Oh, is she gonna go for it? No, not yet. Okay, fair enough. Loom is coming in for both a Chroma and Ophelia. Oh, is she gonna do it now? Is she gonna do it now? Oh, there's a quick wall. Good quick wall from Daisy. Yeah, like I said, Daisy and Chroma have been practicing a lot, so I'm excited to see what they're gonna pull off. And we're seeing the first feudal age coming in from a Chroma. Well, just testing the waters a little bit there, just in case. Just putting up a barracks. Probably gonna see a standard scout opening from her. I mean, it seems like it'd be too late to put up the barracks. I mean, I guess she could still go man at arms, but oh, she is. Yeah, this this is looking, or maybe even just straight archers. Hmm. 
Yeah, she pushed in some ostrich chests, so this could genuinely, like, with that extra food, she could sustain production a little bit longer and just go straight into Archeress. That is surprisingly meta for Ophelia. <laughs> but maybe she's taking, now that she's, you know, gone past the first round, she might be taking it a little bit more seriously. I don't know. I will be happy to find out, though. Okay, seeing big walls from Daisy. Just blocking off the front for now. Her backside is quite open. Like, you could figure potential for a team wall here, but I doubt that anyone's gonna be... It's one thing to team wall in, like, 3v3 or 4v4. With 2v2s, it tends to be a little bit ambitious. A little bit of harassment coming in here. This is just watching, trying to disturb Noelle more than anything. And I'm guessing... Yeah, we're seeing Militia coming in now. It's a little bit of a late timing, but she might have been just trying to make sure that she doesn't lose any bells to today's scout. Men at arms now coming in from Philia, so yeah, we are seeing we're forcing full men at arm commitment. And Akroma was not expecting this. She's right on a spearman. Building her own stable, which is not gonna do particularly well against men at arms and I think if the lesson is anything here is that I think if Ophelia can do Men at Arms, she will do Men at Arms for, for future games. That's worth taking into consideration. <laughs> Staple coming up here from Daisy too, so both teams are sharing their strategy with their like team partner. Akron and Daisy are both going scouts, and Ophelia and Noelle are both going Men at Arms, but of course that means they're better off because Men at Arms counter scouts. Oh, I'm gonna say, oh, okay, cutting it a bit close there, but the men at arms are not allowed in, so I mean we we take those. The dealing things were about for a second, then just decides, yeah, I'm not gonna try to scan anymore. I'm just gonna try to break in, and she might. I I don't think Chroma's okay. She's coming now. Oh, that was close. Okay. Um, over here, Noelle's getting in with the scout, disturbing the Daisy walls here, and here come the men at arms, and that's gonna be one dead villager. Oh, Noelle's gonna try to block. Might be another one. Um, Daisy's scout just goes past, donks the scout, accidentally selects the villager for a second there. Can okay, she avoids going in there. There's walls coming up here, but there needs to be more walls, there needs to be more everything right now. And oh, that scout's gonna go down. Yeah. In this decision of the game, Scout Cavalry is just, like, less cost effective, basically. Like, they have the same, um, they have the same health as the Man at Arms, but less attack, and also, like, I mean, they're also obviously much more vulnerable to spears, but most importantly, they're just kind of, like, more expensive. It's easier to get uh, 60 food and 20 gold than it is to get 80 food in a decision of the game. And the men at arms are in! How did that happen? Oh, she must not have realized there was a hole here after they broke through. She has managed... Akron has managed to set up some walls behind here, but she needs to at some point start looking into getting genuine archers on the field, because this is... You don't want... You don't want to feel it to start having men at arms. She, she uses those very well. Um, this might be... pretty okay. She can dunk another one. I think she's... Yeah, she's seen it. She dunks it. And I think with the first attack, or a couple of first attacks, yeah, she's gonna be able to take that down. And she's finally clear, she can finish off the walls. She does sadly wall out her two secondary golds, but she's at least better- Oh no, a chroma! Oh, that is so bad! That's four dead vils, I think. I, I, she's gonna try to vil fight, and using the scout cap too, taking down one man at arms, two left. But the Vils aren't fighting right now. Oh, this... I think she thought that Palisade Wall had been hammered. Yeah, that's one Scout Cav, two Villagers down. I mean, it could be worse. She actually got out with some Vils. But man, I, yeah, she can't be happy with that. But this is now streaming forward Scouts, and she can probably get some of this. I don't know what, what Noel's doing out here. Maybe it was trying to get forward to do something, but yeah, that should be at least one pickup. And no, I was just taking the second villager and sending it forward now. That's that should just be two dead villagers then. She's not making any military. She's just on gold, and she's oh she, yeah, we're down to putting a lot of people on walling here. Well, 
these men are still alive, but they're low. They should. I don't think they should be able to get any more kills as long as. As long as the crowd is paying attention, they should be fine. Just thinking about it, there's a market coming down. There should just yeah, be another house coming in there. Good. These two are idle. Um, they're having. No, it's having a little bit of a trouble with that, but otherwise it's doing okay. Okay, there's a slinger scout go there, and yeah, finally. Oh, they actually did manage to take down one more villager. Hot damn. So, Ophelia is quite close to clicking up now, and no one else is. No, I was kind of overdosed on gold just a little bit. I mean, you don't need that much gold to actually fund men at arms. But she's setting up spearmen now. Daisy probably can't do too much more here. Yeah, some, some Ophelia scouts just passing by. Just setting up a tower here. Yeah, she did see that archer range was up, but there's not that much being constructed. So, might be a slight overreaction, but it's it's not unreasonable. I mean, it's just nice to have it protecting. This is coming in here now, there's, there is a spearman and there's a quick wall, and that should be enough uh, for now to protect the wood line, but there's gonna be more wood counters coming in here. Magger scouts are here, takes down one, there's only two of them. And they are actually even in terms of strength. No, no one has bloodlines, and Daisy has armor. Wait, no, she no only Pierce armor, right? Sorry. So, my guess are a little bit stronger here, but they are still, you know, fewer of them. But there are also spearmen coming in. And now destroying that house, considering the job safe. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, just one tile in here. Kills that off, but oh, that was very close. Again, very, very much skating by. But hey, she keeps them alive. And there are more Ophelia scouts just kind of patrolling around here. Another stable going up, so I'm thinking she might be considering camels. Both Daisy and uh, Noel actually is going up. Ophelia has been in feudal for a while now and sticking to it with bloodlines, but she can still click up if she wants to. Has she just decided that this tournament is going to be Feudal Boy? Feudal Boy? I forget what Tato's name is. Feudal? I guess it's Feudal Girl, but... What is Tato's name? Like, name for that one? I forget. Okay, she is clicking up to cast now. Might just not have paid attention to her resources for a while there. Kinda had a lot of scout micro to do. So, fair enough. Scares them off there, and I mean, these are very damaged. I don't think... I don't think you need to worry too much about them at this point, like, just, they can, they can pretty easily get knocked down by Vels now. I mean, these two scout cap could, could kill them, for example. So for a moment we enter sort of a lull here. No one's really making a direct move. Everyone's kind of getting walled up, apart from Ophelia, who thinks walls are for the weak, and, you know, sure, I mean, it's worked for her so far, for the most part. Also, it's this... <gasps> it's open here! Noel, you should know, pawns are scary! <laughs> but yeah, light cap coming in immediately for Daisy, being Turks, that's quite useful, actually make... We actually get a little bit of value out of those very low, um, very, very low scouts. She has so many farms, and she's not working a lot of them. Swordsman coming out from Noel, and Akroma's gonna be up in Castle a little bit before Ophelia, so that's there's potential there. Setting up a second town center for Noel, which okay actually does block off like it, it will just barely block off this with the like central keep of the town center because you can walk around the rest of it. Still, we're seeing camels start coming out from Daisy. I think that's the right choice. I. We, uh, okay, there. There's one archer from earlier, but she's gonna try to pivot into cab archers fully. Fletching's coming in. Didn't get that done earlier. I would probably suggest Bodkin Arrow before uh, padded archer armor. But either way, she's gonna have quite a bit to do. She does already have Thumb Ring from getting Tatars. Um, and here come some knights. I mean, knights and camels. That's that's a good combo against Vagars. Doesn't get too many kills here, finishes off a scout, but from that just pushes them off of farms and we're doing a mini lion rush here, which is interesting. Not something you usually see in Arabia. Pikeman upgraded from, from Noel. 
Apart from that, there's a quick wall here, but it's suddenly disturbing things for Ophelia, who has to pay, suddenly pay a lot of attention over here. The Thousand under Gusts go up, and I think these units will probably go down, but it is it is a nice raid. And she leaves, I mean, actually gets one from the camel in the back here! That's impressive, oh, okay. But gotta be careful, because now pikemen are coming out, pikemen are gonna do fantastically versus camels, and pretty solidly against knights, one goes down there. Only had very little remaining. Yeah. No one's just kind of streaming pikemen in there, but cavalry archers are now out, so if they see Necroma do focus and do cooperate, they can get raided by Ophelia. How did this happen? Oh, they must have been a, they must have gotten through here, and now long swordsmen are in, and this is not easy to counter. They kind of need the cavalry archers over here right now. Men at arms will do fine. Oh, but Noel is just charging them into the town center. No one actually goes down, but quite a bit of damage. That's what happens when you don't have ballistics. And a little bit more damage coming from the camels, just kind of smacking them as they go past. They might actually be able to pull this off, but that they're going to the wood line. This is going to lose a lot of villagers here. These are Magyar scout calves. They're dealing 7 damage a hit, and... Yeah, that's that's kind of a disaster. These camels are still having to deal with the longswordsmen. And they can mop them up now, but that's several villagers down and having to run away from your wood line. Gotta plug up the hole here. And... The knights are kind of making their way in here, not getting too much done against these cap archers, but certainly causing a lot of distraction and a lot of confusion. More knights are coming out from the Turk player here in Daisy. Still hasn't plugged this yet. She's, she's put it there, but she hasn't actually sent anyone to do it, and long swordsman is coming in. I mean, they're going to die into the camels, but still. Oh, loses a lot of cap archers on, on the bypass there, on the drive-by. And should be able to take out the remainder of these pikemen now. She's got, a, she's got a university up, has uh, picked up ballistics too, so she should be able to pursue these as they run away. The Longswordsman does not get in, which I think uh, Daisy is very happy about. Pikemen are moving forward. Yeah, there's quite a little infantry armor from Noelle here. Um, she and Noelle, are, or she and Ophelia are very close in score. But yeah, these knights will need camels to deal with, but until then, cavalry archers are actually going to work pretty well. I mean, these already have thumb ring, they have ballistics, but they are, can't stand still. And it's going to be hard if she if she doesn't have the camels from Daisy. It's going to be hard to properly take this down, but it's still anyone's game. The problem is, though, that Ophelia Noel is starting to kick off with her own eco uh, free TCs now for Ophelia. Noel is putting down her fart too. And Daisy's still on one. She's just trying to provide enough camels for for a Chroma, who's putting down her own for TC. It's it's not a great position, but theoretically they have what they need. They just need to micro properly, which is a lot easier said than done. Oh, and here comes the infantry army. I mean, if a Chroma can deal with these knights, which she should be able to, especially with the Tar Heel bonus. Oh, she just runs from that sadly. Um, she should be able to very easily deal with this. Which means this, uh... I think she might have arson? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe not, actually. One night down. Yeah, I think it's a little bit laggy for them, too. Like, I think they're... I mean, they're split, I guess, uh, across South America, North America, and Europe, so... Yeah, there is definitely gonna be something here. And yeah, some... Ca and that doesn't help the cavalry archers! That does not help them at all. And knights are in here too. Camels are gonna try to come by and clean this up, but I don't think Chroma's noticed yet. She hasn't put anyone in garrison. And she's just having to focus on these knights forward. Ophelia's doing a great job of just splitting them up, because theoretically, Cavalry Archer Camel should be a great way to deal with knights from Magyars. But she's just not allowing them to get together and work as a unit. And here comes Siege Pressure. This is going to be difficult to deal with, I mean... If they have the camels and knights here, which they are, and they are cleaning up these knights, and they should be able to start this siege workshop. But here comes the train of pikemen. And swordsmen and pikes are in here, they're just harassing. Should be able to get wiped off with this town center down. And camels, knights, cab archers, it's the, the general idea here for this build. They have to be very careful because if they if the siege workshop goes up and scorpions come out, this cavalry mask could start falling very quickly. And once they're gone, 
the pikes will wreck everything that they see has. But we are seeing them we start getting picked off. I mean, these are fun ring ballistics. They I got Bob Canero, I did it here, yeah. Um, so, as much as they do take some damage in return, they are real well not able to deal with it. But this, I don't know what they can deal with. I, Again, the Isidia Chroma need to be in so many places at once now, I don't think it's particularly easy to do. Invisible farm, by the way. Um, and now, long are coming forward, they're not the greatest raining units, but... I mean, they're cheap, and they hurt. So once they're kind of everywhere spread out around here, it's not gonna be easy to deal with them. And this is a massive fight, everyone is in here, and oh my god. Downhill advantage for Ophelia, she's gonna be pretty happy about that. Look at those cab archer losses. Yeah, this is this is good composition from Noelle and Ophelia and good teamwork, good just it's making sure to spread Daisy and Akram's attention as much as is humanly possible. Making sure they can't focus. There's a ping here from Ophelia, probably pointing out a hole, maybe? But it, I don't think that's a hole actually. I don't know why there's a ping there. Yeah, more cab archers going down, just trying to get a distance from the knights enough to shoot them. It's not easy. Not easy when Daisy has to go home to her own base, and there's battering rams! I mean, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to try to batter those rams down. I mean, they have scorpions now, but they wouldn't need a mangonel properly. And scorpions have a little bit of bonus damage, but not much. Knights just kind of knocking on all doors currently. They're not coming in here. They've got all the upgrades they need, and certainly... Magyars can be pretty scary with how much they hurt, and... Now Chroma calls the GG. DC calls the GG immediately after, and not much delay before they just say, yeah, yeah we're out. One point to Noel and Ophelia. That was, that was really close, though. Like, they... It's it's one of those matchups, um, like, just how it played out. And you could definitely see that both of them, like, there's... Both compositions feel like they should work against each other, right? Camels and Cab Archers are hard to counter, and, you know... Ophelia and Noelle did manage to pull it off, I'm, I'm very much impressed. No castles, no trade, and no fishing of course, and perhaps unsurprisingly no wonders. Yeah, Noelle kinda got the two boom in her safety over there. Yeah, Chroma got pretty hard raided, it was difficult to actually build up, and then the big push came in on Daisy. Ophelia was starting to set up for castles it looks like. Or maybe just the ultra booming as she's wanted to do. Lots of villagers. Lots of losses, sadly. Yeah, very good game. We shall now move on to uh, Daisy and Chroma's home map. So let us see. Okay, and we are here on Valley. So, Valley, for those of you who not know, it's been in the map a couple of times. Basically, the gist of this map is that there's there's a central long river. You can actually dock this, and it has been docked in, in the tournament game, and caravels have been made in here. But the general point is that there's a bunch of shore fish in these ponds. Uh, actually, not that much this time around. Okay, that's, that's a free fish. That's a free fish. Yeah, quite a bit anyway. Um, and lots of hunt in between. Uh, you have standard resources back at home, I do believe. Uh, two boars. Sheep, 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 sheep. Yeah. And berries, of course. Um, so you have standard resources, but yeah, most of the natural food on the map is in the center, and you can get a lot of work done here. I'm surprised to see that... I, I don't remember the draft off the top of my head, but I'm surprised to see that neither, like, an Indian or... Uh, Neither an Indian nor a Mongol was picked here. Like, both of them have very strong uh, resource bonuses that could help here. But there's also the, the alternative thing, which is that, like, for a lot of the time, when you play team games on this map, people just play it as Arabia. Like, at most, you might see people making use of these in, like, Castle Age. <coughs> Excuse me. You might see them making use of this in Castle Age. Um, but only really like once they have like a castle forward or something they go, hey, I gotta use these castle villagers for something. Oh, there's food here. 
So a lot of the time, yeah, we'll just be playing normal, but we'll, we'll see if anyone dares to go forward. Daisy Necroma is slightly ahead in score here with their Teutons and Lithuanians. We've seen this combo before. It's quite strong. It's got the monks. It's got the very, very strong heavy cavalry. Lithuanians dealing the damage. Teutons is soaking up the enemy damage. Monks can be quite useful against the Huns, I think, in particular here, um, with Night Spam, but I think Lithuanians have a pretty solid chance against the Huns in general. I mean, they got the best skirmishes in the game for a reason. They can definitely put them to use. Uh, no one's here. Just kind of guarding her board against Daisy, worrying a little bit about whether or not it'll get sniped, and Daisy, oh, gets a good volley in her head there, and... Yeah, Noelle sends us blood, moving forward with her hands. Ophelia's on Goths, uh, and Noelle's on Hans, the destroyers of Rome. We shouldn't ride forth and, you know, Tarkins and house girls. buildings don't really matter. Which, I think Teutons might be a little bit displeased by, given how strong they are defensively otherwise. But we'll see if that comes into play. Uh, Lumen might be picked up by Daisy already. Yeah, I think she housed herself. Which is fair enough, it happens. Um, no reason to be too worried about that. I wonder if early loom might prompt her to go forward. Like, that's that's a genuine possibility. Um, second bar coming in, some seemingly no real problems here. Everything's going just fine and dandy, apart from Ophelia tossing her board behind the town center, but it, again, it very much happens. Uh, Little, I, and you know, if you're gonna continue on that. Oh, Daisy! You sneaky little nerd! Oh, but yeah, no, she's she's gonna have to bail, but that does at least disturb the boar lure a little bit. That's brave. Oh, okay, we're having some micro wars here. Micro nerds? Yeah, I guess a little bit confused. There was a second there where I genuinely thought she might lose some, uh, a villager. I mean, I just. Make sure to break off the scout, realizes that, like, okay, she's just gonna run home, and if I don't pay attention, then I might lose my scout at TC. And, of course, Ophelia's doing her thing, putting a forward barracks on the riverbed. It's actually gonna set up um, some some gathering from here, which makes sense. I mean, if you're a Goths, you can definitely be pretty aggressive with setting up those early militias. And barracks of her own is coming up here for a chroma, and it looks like a chroma was gonna play this pretty conservatively, like just just do the this is just arena but with a fancy river sort of uh, build. He manages to try to wall up. Go steal extra damage against the buildings though, so it might be difficult to set that up properly. Mail coming up here, just it's a little bit of an awkward mail, right? Like you'd probably prefer to have it on the other side of the shore to to get to this shorefish, like it's a little bit far away, or maybe having it over here. Um, either way, she's gonna be happy with that. These got pulled out pretty, pretty well done, actually. Um, and then he's gonna bash away for now. The question is, is is the family gonna keep this up? Because she hasn't clicked up a feudal age. Okay, now she does. Now everyone's clicked up the feudal age. She and Daisy do it at basically the same time. And Chroma's gonna be by a good margin first. Noelle's actually quite a bit behind. I wonder if there's something I missed with her build. She's gonna go forward for more food too. She's actually on gold, so she might be. This isn't. What is she doing? Like, there's no barracks up yet, is there? No. So why gold? Because you'd think you'd expect free people on gold. If you were looking into archers, this, like, two on gold reminds me more of men-at-arms, but I don't think she's gonna go for men-at-arms. I think, I think Ophelia's got men-at-arms under control. Yeah. Oh, can we get the donk? One more. Donk! <laughs> Takes a few uh, parting shots there. Yeah. Daisy's still around. Noelle's base is just being annoying. And yeah, like, at this point, Noelle is just like, no, I know what you're up to, get out of here. <laughs> and Militia coming back for Daisy, and oh, they're gonna fight over the food. Oh, this is so good. I'm so glad we get to see food fights. <laughs> I was so worried that we just played this normally, but no, so far the only one who isn't going in is a Chroma, and she's facing a lot of pressure back home, so. And also, sh like, I wanna say. 
it's, it's interesting that, that she's the one not going forward, because of the two, you think, like, Daisy might be more keen to stay at home, just given that she's Teuton so you can get that extra, or those, those cheaper farms. Oh, this is... we're doing towers! Okay! There is an archer range here, but it's under a tower! And, oh yeah, no, we're just... No, it's not having this. It this this tower is just gonna get battered down, and she's gonna lose quite a few villagers here in the meantime. Ay ay ay, that hurts. But it is up, and at some point, I mean, this is gonna have to face the music here, right? She's gonna hop out, try to take down a few more, sending out her bills too. But yeah, I mean, this even if she loses these two bills, she's done so much damage. That should be another one. Yeah, that's another one down. <laughs> she tries to build a second tower! Oh my god, Not she's not even making like a wall and then towering, she's just going for it. Well, she's making walls at home, I guess. She just has one less man at arm somewhere? Oh, there. And yeah, she thinks better of it, she sees the archers are now out, and... Ophelia's just doing Ophelia things. Like, again, this is kind of where we just need to go. Like, when have fine crossbows, they don't get Arbalest, but apart from that, they're fully upgradable. I think it's fair to just, just go into archers, because, like, if Ophelia feels like this is working, she's just gonna keep going. I mean, this is so much wood just having to be spent on it, and now an archer is coming forward. Oh, dear. Yeah, this could be... Oh, there's, there's the range... I think she needs to block off over here so that if they get funneled into the town center. Everything's kind of quiet on the western front though, so a couple of archers are going forward. What is Daisy preparing to deal with this? Archers on her own. Archers off her own. Um, and okay, she's just forcing them to work for now, but yeah, that stable is now dead. The goths can stream in. But yeah, there was an attempt at a tower there. Uh, is she gonna delete it in time? Oh, she's losing... Yeah, she's losing some... Some... Uh, some mad arms, but... Right now, I think the plan is just walk around and do this again on the other side. Like, there's a, wa there's a wasted tower now. And there's no block here. Not quite yet. Okay, she's setting it up though, that's good. She's actually getting some free shots in on this, this poor archer. But yeah, I mean, ghosts do extra damage against buildings, so she can just rinse and repeat here. Start breaking through. She only has two archers, so this is gonna be more annoyance than actually killing. But I mean, that's plenty enough. Let's have a blacksmith up. Let's have a blacksmith up, doesn't have, doesn't really have the resources to actually get fletching. Oh yeah, there's stone walls now. Um, I actually don't know how much golf infantry will actually do towards stone walls, but I mean, it doesn't matter too much now because they're streaming into the town center. And again, okay, we can no longer go in here. So what do we do? We go to the next palisade wall and the next wood line and just keep on playing. This is gonna try to send some help. But at some point, that means she will be kind of open on the front. And Noelle sending her archers back, I don't know about that. I think that's a little bit... It's a little bit overly cautious, I think. I think it would be better to force force Daisy to either save herself or save her ally. There's a hole here, by the way. I don't know if she knows. She knows. Okay, good, good. Although this is <laughs> a little bit of a traffic jam. And yeah, Akron is selling wood for gold. Buying stone, I guess, to set up, yeah, another watchtower here. It's not unreasonable, but she's putting herself in such a squalid, cramped situation. And it's not easy. I mean, okay, they just kind of walk past each other after losing one over there, but okay. Um, and here comes Noelle. She's, she's gathered up her courage, she's gathered up her archers, and is now sending it forth. And it looks like Ophelia is just saying, you know what? I've I've compressed you into a little fortress of my of my making here, and that's good enough for me. So we're gonna start harassing your teammate because now she's had to send her off to to help you. Both Noel and Ophelia are into fletching, and Daisy and Chroma have no upgrades. So this is looking pretty rough for them. But 
But I'm always, again, being a little bit cautious. Um, she could try breaking through this palisade wall over here, but she doesn't know it's there, so not necessarily specifically since she's not doing it. But yeah, that's the problem with Watchtower defense against in this type of map. It's just, it only covers so much, and you need it to cover so much more. Setting up a market here, and all the men at arms are in, and the skirmishes are gonna do nothing. That hurts. Um, again, we can kind of funnel them into the TC, but even even with the TC, it's just so much idle time, so much work and resources lost. And I promise it's exciting. Okay, like I'm gonna need more towers, which is fair enough. Like if you're gonna start building towers, you might as well commit to it. But Ophelia's going up to castle, and that is not the age you want goths to reach first, that's for damn sure. Acroma is also coming up to castle. There's something she might be able to pull off, like, if she gets out a solid number of nice, uh, there's something to say for, for her team, but I think that's pretty much their last gasp at the moment. They've just, they lost so much. Not necessarily in terms of builds, but in terms of working time. She should just kill this, by the way. Like, yeah, yeah. Good to go. And I'll just... Kinda has to leave. Not much point in trying to mush her face against the TC. Could try to take out some farms, but... Eh, it's it's not super important, really. Trying to wall up here, trying to secure a single safe wood line. And it's, it's a struggle. It's a struggle, and again, Ophelia... She doesn't like the places where her map starts her. She wants to migrate. She's she's a nomad soul. She wants to get the heck out of here. And there's Castle Age, there's Pikeman and Scale Mail. Interesting to see Pikeman immediately. I guess she's just really trying to get ready for Lithuanian uh, uh, knights. Sorry, I was going to see paladins. I think that's a little bit early. Yeah, looks like Noel and Daisy will actually hit the castle at almost the exact same time, I think. Yeah, it's hard to say. Chromat's in castle. Let's see what is the immediate response here. Knights, as expected. The problem is, no armor right now, so even golf crossbows could pretty easily take them down, and I mean, she's using pikemen in front, too, so... That just makes it a little harder. They see Noelle are now also in, we'll see what they start making. We've seen cav archers from Noelle, which makes sense. Uh, she's got two ranges that should be able to, uh, well enough, occupy her resources, I think. And... And here we see, oh yeah, Lithuanian knights coming in, but also Teuton knights. I think that's fair. I, I think committing to, to just nice for now is fair, but it's gonna get really hard in the long run because of, you know, golf pike spam. Which have, you know, already kind of begun. And yeah, you can see these, these kind of, there are not a lot of them right now, but they're, they're kind of doing a number. Kind of doing a number in this much camera. These knights should be able to help out with, or should be able to clean this up with some supporting fire. But there's a castle drop, yeah. It sucks when the get out of my game castle drop comes at 26 minutes. Oh wait, no, is this? Oh, sorry, I thought that was... No, 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 it is Ophelia, sorry. I got confused about colors for a second. Yeah, um... This is not a castle you survive. I I'm just gonna be real honest, like, admittedly, I will say... It doesn't actually specifically deny a resource. Um, it's kind of hard to see anything in here, it's just such a mess. The only resource it denies is like this last forest bush, but it, it pushes you off of a lot of farms, it pushes you off of a, just a lot of ground that you would otherwise have. And that's that's not where you want to be. So, she has a few spots of scattered gold, she has wood lines. Like, it's not unreasonable to say that she could subsist on what she has. But it's a lot of pressure, and these Hun Cav Archers are they're gonna do quite good work. I mean, Teutons don't get husbandry. Cav Archer, or, uh, excuse me, Huns do, and Cav Archers are already faster than Knights, so... It's hard. 
Like, you pretty much need uh, light cannon or skirms and siege and stuff like that to actually deal with these scavengers, especially when they get to be so numerically superior as the Huns get. In late game, I genuinely think Lithuanians and students can deal with Goths just fine. I mean, Teutonic Knights and backed by like hand cannoneers, which both of these so get. It's Goths are not that scary to them. But right now, I mean, the the thing they would like to build are like are primarily uh, they're primarily cavalry. Yeah, Huskos are being mixed in here, and. You know, the thing they would need to counter the ghosts are infantry, and infantry are so easily dispatched by uh, by the Hum Cow Archers, and they're already getting to a pretty decent mass here. But there's a raid coming in here. That's good news from Daisy. I'm glad she's not just sitting back and letting the feed come to her. And oh, that's that's a really good block. That's another good block. Finish it. Thank you. Oh, but make sure to actually. Oh, I don't think she's gonna be able to do it because of TC. Oh my god! <laughs> it's, it's so tight! Oh, unfortunately, she's not cute and so she's not gonna free murder hunts. Oh my god, it's gonna go up, it's gonna go up. She's gonna lose it, like one number two. Yeah, okay, now get in, get in, get in! <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that's gonna keep her alive for a little bit. Yeah, these knights have been sussed out and. The cow archers are going after them. I don't think a boot. Yeah, there's no university yet, so ballistics is not in. And they can just kind of snipe a few bills as they go. Well, they might still lose some health and all, but it's not terrible. But oh god, now these are spinning out over here too. Oh boy. Yeah, golf spam is pretty rough. Daisy calls the GG, taps out, and the game is over. Maria, Noel, and Ophelia have taken another victory, moving them into semifinals. Very well played. I mean, that was that was good stuff. I loved Daisy's early aggression here, especially, and yeah, that was not an easy thing to try to defend against for for Chroma. I I have to imagine that in both these games, it was just a uh, please don't put me up against Ophelia. She's gonna do weird men at arms shit, and I hate it. <laughs> I'm getting the vague feeling that was the vibe in the in the Twitch call. Twitch call? Discord call. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, they're good games. Very happy to see them. Some creative strats being pulled out here. I'm also very glad to see the people who are actually using the mill and I feel like I was using it quite quite a lot. I mean only actually two mills. Just she put a lot of buildings, just not a lot of mills, I guess. out another match. Pretty even scores overall. Not terribly impressive. Daisy actually doing very well with her units. Expensive as they may have been. Chroma even actually managed to get a uh, relic for a Lithuanian knight. Actually, I did not notice that. Yeah, saw the castles and stuff. But yeah, you're right there. There's a relic there. Okay, well, Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!